What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Hello? They're going to ask you questions and you're going to answer. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yes, thank, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm Al Loffer, I'm the director. I'm Carrie Maletto, I'm the lead actress, Agent Wilburn, and also I am a producer. My name is Jeremy Palco, I'm just a fanatic. Sean! He's Sean. I play Sean. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? The sound quality was great. What did, did you guys use boom mics or lapel mics? Or uh, our sound guys are here, actually. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, bit of a secret because it's a secret location beneath the Gulfstream Casino in Hollywood. So we gambled. Yeah, the actual is the uh, security level in the, at, at the casino. Well, there's two locations because technically the entire basement was um, on the basement. Yeah, the basement was actually a completely separate location in West Palm Beach. Yeah. yeah. So we tied we tied them we tied them together using that elevator shaft. So as you can see, the elevator shaft was at the Gulfstream location. But once everybody went down, that was a complete different location that was all the way up in Lake Worth. So um, I think it actually looked really good. I think it actually played well nicely. When we saw it together, we were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that place had no running water. No so. running water, <laughs> no facilities at all. It was so it was terrible. Awesome. Any other questions? You want to talk about maybe the film in general? Yes. Um, at the very end, as they're going through, showing his wall, we got away gaze here. Um, Maybe we have our art director here. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, well, basically, you know, Sean's 200 years old, and um, we thought it was kind of funny to put some pictures in there from some famous serial killers that he would have killed. Uh, because, you know, his character is kind of like the Dexter of vampires, in that he only kills bad people. So, yeah, actually, this is uh, the sequel to another film we made called So Pretty. I don't know if anybody here has seen it. It takes place on a train in Miami. Good <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Go and watch it. Uh, SoDarkMovie.com. And um, uh, yeah, we're actually making a third film, a third and a feature next year. So, you know, definitely for, for us, and we're going we're gonna to take your question next. Um, this film has definitely been a labor of love, and James Williams, our writer, is here who actually wrote the script. Al Lawfer, the director. Say hi, James. Say hi, James. Uh, Al Lawfer, the director, and James met each other on a website, and he fell in love with the script. James was waiting for the right person to make the script because So Pretty is set on a train, and we got the Miami Metro, and I guess, right, James, so many people had contacted you about making that script, but you were very specific that you wanted it done properly, and uh, Al was able to do it. So it was the meeting of two great minds, and it was meant just to be one short. And what happened was we got such a great reception on So Pretty that James kept writing, and So Dark came out of it. Um, we have a few more, we can move forward webisode-wise, we have a few more ideas there, and we also have a feature um, that's gonna tell the whole story about Sean um, that we're trying to also get made. So there's so much happening with us, so we're on Facebook at So Dark the Movie. Uh, SoDarkAMovie.com is our website, and we're also on Twitter at SoDarkTheMovie. So please follow us, because the biggest thing for us right now, as it is with anybody in here who's a filmmaker, it's about funding, and it's about continue, you know, the right people coming on board to help us move forward. Um, so we're trying to build up our fan base, and we're trying to make sure that if you guys love it, please friend us, because it shows, and support us, because it shows that there's people out there who want to see what we're going to make. And that is half the battle. So when someone sees that, that's when they say, okay, we want to get behind it. So, what was your question? Oh, I was just going to, did I see a Bauhaus album? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's that's <laughs> his <laughs> album. <laughs> and uh, Mario here is our first AD. He was on the last episode of Burn Notice. Yeah. And <laughs> the scene where Bruce Campbell gets shot, or, right? Is it you? Like a fight scene with Bruce, yeah. yeah. So I want to point that out. <laughs> yeah. What did you, uh, what did you shoot from that movie? Uh, Red Epic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How long was the project 
film throughout the first show? Um, the first, well, so pretty we shot in um, one night. ten hours. Oh. One, day. Jeez. one night. It was terrible. <laughs> one night. <laughs> we yeah. shot it in one night, and it was four, forty setups, I think, we used. And so dark, we shot in four days. Four days. Um, with a lot of prep and uh, about three months of post production on that one. Maybe two and a half months. Yeah. It was tough. <laughs> uh, we averaged about 14 hour days, something like that. The last day it was like 18 hours. It was like one day that was lighter and then the rest were heavy. Uh... Oh. <laughs> well, a lot of what you guys are pointing out, I just, you know, Xavier Cortez is, is a brilliant mind when it comes to, and he's getting embarrassed now. Um, when it comes to, put your hand up. They're all looking at you. Um, a lot of those things that you guys are pointing out that you're catching are details that he did. And, and I can definitely say, you know, when you're on a budget, the more people you can bring in that have talent in certain areas, it will show in your feature. It, it will show in your product, you know what I mean? So um, the things you're noticing are things that sometimes we forget about because we're trying to do things on a budget. So we, oh, we don't need a set designer. Oh, we don't need, you know, a sound person. We'll just plug right into camera. Oh, we don't need, you know, yeah, find those people, make friends with those people, like get those people on your team because those are the things you're noticing, you know? And, and even when he did it, he said, I got these records. They're like really rare. And, and we looked at him and said, okay, Xavier, go put, them, go put them up. You know, like, what are you doing? And, you know, afterwards when I saw that last scene and you see Sean's apartment, there's so much detail there for who that character is. And that's because of set design. So take that extra time if you can. I mean, obviously, like we couldn't do much set design in our alleyway. That was in busy downtown West Palm Beach. Um, and, and we were there, I think, well, were we there on a weeknight? Or was that, I forget. Uh, it's a Wednesday. I think it was like a Wednesday night, but there's still clubs like all around us. So my, my husband is a sound guy. It was a Thursday. It was a Thursday. Thank you, Julie. Julie Kendall, by the oh, way, Julie. that's playing our violin, is in the back. <laughs> Come, here. Come on up. Come up here. so <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so my husband's a sound guy, so Chris Giles is, is that's who that is. Um, you know, poor, you know, think about your sound people. Because I'm married to one, I can think about that. Um, try to scope your locations as much as possible before you shoot there, and the more you can lock your locations is like so great, right? Because the times that we have completely locked, it's just us there. Those were like the smoothest days we had, obviously. The ones where you don't have any control over, we get to the casino and they have music playing. And we're trying to do everything in the elevator. We go, pooch, 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 pooch. And we're like, oh my God, how are we gonna do this dialogue? So, <laughs> yeah. So we made it work, you know, but like, I, I think that speaks to the value of, of trying to scope your locations as much as possible before you shoot at all different times of the day and night. So go when you will be shooting. Um, any other questions? Can you just pop up to these places and just start shooting, or do you need some yes, some no, I guess? Yeah, um, we had to get full of permits. Uh, the casino, we didn't have a permit for that. Uh, we just showed up and took over. No, actually, actually, my friend works there, so, you know, it's all about who you know, and they called them up and said, can we use your security floor? And they were pretty cool with it. Um, but yeah, most of the places we had to get permits. Uh, West Palm Beach is actually really good for permits. They uh, they're really helpful and they, they don't cost anything. So. Did you know the couple over here that made yeah. the earlier movie? You had trouble with police showing up. And yeah. Oh, oh really? Like when you were hanging a girl, you know. It's like yeah, yeah, we actually had the police on on set on the alleyway scene. Whenever you have guns. We we paid for the police to come out because we even with the the gun that we used was actually a, a BB gun, and that was, all the effects were added digitally. And uh, we still had to get cops out there, even if it was, you know, a fake gun. So somebody walks by and they see somebody shooting somebody in the alley, a vampire, so... We don't get shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I hate to cut you short here, but I know. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you.